I said I wouldn't do YouTube. I've said repeatedly, not doing YouTube. Why not? Now's the time to do it. Dave at D&J, Chris at Every Trade, they've just taken those machines off us. Why not? <sighs> All right, let's give it a go. YouTube, here we come. I'm Gavin from Spitfire Engineering Services and in this video we're going to show you the crazy world of Spitfire Engineering and what we do. We are a British family owned engineering business based here in the middle of the UK. We design and build specialist and bespoke recycling equipment and in this bi-weekly vlog we plan on showing you what we do here in the workshop and also possibly on site. Okay, so we've agreed to do this YouTube. We're not experts at this, we are amateurs, we're engineers, we're not YouTubers. Hopefully you can see past some of the editing and presenting quality in return for genuine engineering content. So let us know in the comments what you think. Okay, so we're on the road this morning. We're on our way up to Manchester. Anybody that's watched our socials recently will see that we've built a couple of machines, a couple of Raptor Trommels. Um, new model for us. Uh, we've got one gone that's already gone to Dave at D&J Projects, and this one is going to Chris at Every Trade up in Manchester. So we've loaded the machine up this morning. We've got it on the lorry. The truck's behind us somewhere on the M6 and uh, we're driving up here now to install it. So we're gonna get it unloaded, get it in position, get it all run up, put some material through it. And then after that, we'll carry out some product training for the guys on site, show them how to operate it, all the maintenance, all those sorts of good bits and bobs, and then we'll leave them to it. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so we're all set up now. We've got our mini screen under the conveyor and we've got it up on the legs. We've got some nice soil to screen, nice fairly dry soil, so this should go quite well. Um, obviously, we're gonna load it in the top there. We're gonna have all the oversize coming out the other end of the trommel, trommel drum and then the fines will come up onto the mini deck. Any stones that are still in there will come off this end and good topsoil should come out the other end. So let's see how we get on. So we've had a good day up at Every Trade up in Manchester. Uh, we're just on our way back now. Um, you can see in the video that we've got the machine off the lorry, got it all set up in position, got it jacked up on its legs. 
put some material through it. They've got some nice dry material up there, which, which went through a treat, to be honest. Went really well. Um, so we put some material through it, sort of repositioned the mini screen after, probably after we took some videos of it running uh, because the trommel was discharging halfway up the deck on the mini screen. So um, we've moved the mini screen a little bit, so it's discharging on the top. Got it all set up, guys on site, got shown how to use it all, all the maintenance points, all the bits and bobs that we said earlier on. And um, yeah, it went really well. So I'm out in the car this afternoon, driving over to a good customer of ours. Um, they've got a 70 ton bucket that they want converting from uh, general spec to rock spec. Um, not quite sure what we're going to see when we get there. Uh, but we're going to go and have a look and see what they want doing. And it's a job that will probably come into the workshop, um, come into us. And what we've done in the past is weld on different wear plates different heels, uh, probably change the teeth on the front. So we'll go and have a look and see what they've got. Um, spend a lot of time in the car, looking at jobs, going and seeing different customers, quoting different things. And you can't beat getting in the car and going and seeing people. You know, it's, it's that face-to-face, um, -face, uh, personal touch with the customers that I think, I think a lot of people miss when they're dealing with customers and suppliers that over the phone and Zoom. But, you know, I've always been one to, to get in the car, go and see the customers, see what they want, because then you can have an interaction with them. You can find out exactly what they want, because sometimes by email or by Zoom, it can go backwards and forwards, where you, you just can't beat getting face to face with the customers and seeing what they want. So it's Wednesday and I'm on my way up to Staffordshire to do a delivery and install of one of our mini screens. Um, customers got for a mini screen E21C, screen in topsoil. Let's get it delivered, get it installed. See how we get on with it. So this afternoon we're delivering a mini screen to a customer. It's our last year's X demo machine. We're screening topsoil, so let's see how we get on. We've just put the first few bucketfuls through and it's absolutely flying through. As you can see, we've got oversized coming out at the bottom and we've got good soil coming out over there. It's going really well, but we're just about to swap the chute on the bottom to the straight chute, see if we can increase the output out of the machine. our demo stroke hire machine um, from last year that we've now sold this year. Um, it's got 35mm top deck, 15mm square bottom deck. Material is fairly heavy soil and it's actually screening really well. The guy's loading it with a six ton digger. Um, we've put a straight chute on it because he doesn't need the three-way split. We have got, he has bought the three-way split chutes as well but we've gone for the straight shoot on this one today. And um, we've got all of this coming off here. This is all the oversized, very little fines in there, which is exactly what we want. And then this end, we've got a, we're loading straight into a dumper. And if you look at the material we've got in here, in the customer's words, very impressed. So it's been a successful afternoon. Okay, so I'm back in the car now. I'm on my way back to the yard. Delivery and install went really well. Customer was really impressed. Um, 
it's kept a 15 mil elongated screen as a backup to the 15 mil square that was in there. 15 mil square was doing a really good job. But as we know in previous videos with David D and J, um, 15 mil elongated is probably what you need when the ground conditions are a little bit sticky. So customer kept hold of that. So he's got a spare for when things get a little bit tough and a bit sticky. So now we're on our way back to the yard and rumor has it that the 70 ton bucket that I went and looked at yesterday has arrived in the yard. So let's go and have a look at it. So the baby bucket that I just went and had a look at yesterday, I said that I was going to have a look to be upgraded from normal spec to rock spec, but it's turned up in the workshop. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to put wear bars in the bottom, all in the bottom of there. We're probably going to hard face between the teeth. I don't know yet. They might be sending in some shrouds to go between the teeth to beef that up. We're going to weld some pieces at the side here to beef this up as well. And then around the bottom here, there will be some heel pieces, which is like a protective capping that goes around the bottom. Apparently this digger that this bucket is for is actually going to the steelworks at Scunthorpe and will actually be used to dig the slag out from the blast furnaces. So it's going in a very hot application and they're fully expecting this bucket will be wrecked by the time that it comes back to them. So we'll keep filming the, the work that we do to this so you can see as we go the different bits and pieces that I've just spoke about and um, you'll see it when it's done hopefully in the next video. So keep watching. So it's the end of the week and the lads have all packed up and gone home. I usually like to come and have a walk around the workshop to see where they've got with stuff and see what we've got coming up next week. We've already covered the 70 ton bucket, that'll be done next week, that'll be in the next video. We've got a load of appliances for a local catering company, we're doing some conversions in their trailer. That should be started in the next few weeks, so we've got the appliances there and we've got some more over here. So that will probably come up in the next few videos. What else have we got? We've got a welder going away for repair. That seems to be a regular thing with welders. They don't seem to last as long as they used to. This here is going to be a mini Raptor Trommel. It's the start of a chassis. Uh, it's been started on the build now. So this you'll see in the next few videos as well. This is our mini Raptor Trommel that's been sold to a recycling company. I think they're screening plastic with this. So this is the chassis. The drum will go in there with an infeed at the end. If anybody's seen our mini Raptor Trommels before, you'll know what this will look like. And then what else have we got? We've got this over here. This is the start of our mobile picking line. It's a new model for us, one that we're building at the minute. Um, so this is, this is the base of it. Just move around a little bit so you can see the size of it. This thing's going to be huge when it's done. If you look at our socials in recent weeks, you'll see that we've got some CAD drawings on there of that and some pictures of what that's going to look like when it's finished. So basically, this is going to be a mobile picking line. It's going to be on wheels so it can go to site. It'll lift up on jack legs. You'll load it from this end when it's done. And basically, it's a conveyor belt that'll go up and then people will stand on these platforms in here, both sides. And they will pick the waste off. There's gonna be an overman magnet at the other end. So you'll see that in the next few videos of that being built and hopefully delivered to site where you can see it working. What have we got in here? We've got different components ready for mini screens. We've got two Two frames built up for mini screens. I think both of them are sold now, actually. One of them is actually going to Guernsey. So they're, they're built up, ready. They're gonna be painted now in the paint shop and then assembled. And we'll get some footage of that as well whilst we're doing it. Um, these here, these are the picking bins. Gonna be for that mobile picking line that we saw a minute ago. They're gonna be the four picking bins. You'll see them being assembled in the next few weeks as well. And then over here, these are side panels for the conveyors for the mini screens. So they're ready for paint now. They'll be cleaned up and painted and get assembled into the frames. 
So keep watching in the next few weeks. You'll see all these little projects that we've got ongoing at the minute. Obviously, this is the start of our YouTube journey. So you're, you're coming in halfway through the build on some of this stuff. So in the following weeks, you'll see us putting these together and starting new projects that we've got coming up. And then hopefully you'll be able to see some of these new projects from start to finish. Like I say, So just having a look in metal cutting, we've got some components there. By the looks of it, they're going to be for the Mini Raptor. Got another pallet of cut parts, I'm not quite sure what they're for. Um, we've got some cut and folded panels there for an eddy current separator machine, which is a metal sorting machine in its basic form. Um, we've got a second hand machine in that's having some refurbishment work going for it, that's sold. That's going to a customer in the next few weeks. So we've got some panels there that they've asked to have put on. And then we've just got packs of steel, packs of steel everywhere at the minute no end of material about. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Hope you've liked it. As we've said before, like and subscribe to the channel and this video. In the next few weeks, I'm going to Germany to a trade show. So we're gonna take the camera with us. We're gonna show you what there is there. So that'll be in the next video. Some of the projects that we've just spoke about will also be in the next video. We've got the 70 ton bucket. That's gonna be in the next video and as well as some other stuff that's coming up in the workshop and on site. So, I'll see you in the next episode.